to do is tutorial for beginners for project and task management hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to use to do is for project management and task management collaborate with your team create different boards and much more so let's get into it first of all what you guys need to do is you're going to go to todoist.com and you will land right here to do is allows you to get more organized and productive with your everyday and work task with Todoist, you will be able to create a board or a page and then add your team members, collaborate with them and actually uh, organize your workspace. In order to get started with Todoist, you will have to click on start for free right here and you can sign up for free with Todoist. So the signing up process is really easy. All you need to do is just log in with your Google account, Facebook, or you can use your Apple ID. You can also enter your email address, password, and click on sign up. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Todoist, you will get right here. This is my Todoist.com and I'll show you how I organize things with Todoist and how you can do that too. First of all, you can see on Todoist, we have a menu. Here I have an inbox. We have today, upcoming filters and labels. This is where I'll be able to see different projects that I have created. So I have a work project right now. We have another project. So this is like a activity for today or due today task that I have created. Then at the top, we have this plus button that allows me to add a new task anytime I want. Then we have this option for which is known as your productivity where I can set different goals. We have notifications and then we have our account that will allow me to create my own account. And here we have our integrations. We have our theme that I can select and we can also upgrade to business to invite different team members. So first of all, let's actually create a new project. For that, I'm going to click on add project and now give our project a name. This project is related to my new work. I have a new project assigned by my manager. So I'm going to go ahead and create a project here. So it is a marketing project. Now I can select a color. This is just for the, uh, you know, organizing way and we will be able to select different colors. Then we have add to favorite option and we have a view. There are two views available. We have a list view and a board view. So it depends on me what view I want to go for. I'm actually going to go for a board view because I personally like it. I'm going to click on add and my new project will be created. Now we have to add different sections to this project. So the first section is actually going to be the pitches that we create. So I'm going to just call it pitches and click on enter and a new section or a list will be created. Let's create another one and I'm going to call it to do. Let's create another one and it's going to be in progress. And let's create another one which is going to be approved. Now it totally depends on you uh, what section you want to create and what kind of task management you are going for. So to do this is really easy to use and we get a lot of different options. Now I also have the share option available once I created the project. So I'm going to click on share now and actually invite few of my team members to join me on this uh, project. So these are going to be the collaborators with me and I'm going to enter their email address. Once you enter an email address, you're going to click on invite and invitation will be sent to them. So now I have invited team members Then we have views as well. Again, we have uh, grouping, we have sorting here. Click on these three dots and you'll be able to uh, create more options. We have import from template, we have duplicate project, we have uh, show completed, add extension and more. So we also have different templates available and we can also add different templates uh, right here within a project. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new task here. So let's create a task in to do list. Click on add task and give your task a name. So uh, to do is actually we have to uh, prepare a presentation. So I'm going to quickly do that here. And then you're going to enter a description. We can also set a due date for the task. So the due date is going to be tomorrow. Then we can add a priority. So this is going to be priority number one. And we can also add different reminders to a task. This is what a task looks like on our uh, to do list. So you can see this is the location for the task and I can actually change it if I want. Now a new task has been created right here. I can also click on these three dots and then we have labels and add extension. So I'm going to click on labels and click on new. We can create more labels as well. Similarly, I'm going to create another task. 
So for that, you can click on this plus button or you can just uh, select the list and then you can uh, create a new task. This way you will create as many tasks as you like and they will be added. I can also switch between different projects anytime I want from here. Now I have created a task. I can actually move it from one list to another. Let's say now it's in progress. So it's a simple drag and drop. Um, we can also click on these three dots uh, right here in the list and we can edit a section. We can duplicate a section. This is a section or a list, whatever you want to call it. Similarly, I can go ahead and create different filters and labels here. Click on filters and labels and let's create a new label here. Click on add new label. Give it a name. I'm going to call it error and then we can select the color. Let's go with a red color for the error. Click on add and a new label will be created. We can also add new task within a label if we want. So you can see I will get the add option here. Uh, then we have a today. So this is our today and it will show me all of the tasks that are due today. We also have an upcoming calendar available that gives me the idea how many tasks are overdue and how many tasks I have. We can also click on reschedule and you can reschedule any task you like. You know that there is a task coming up tomorrow, but you, you have no time. So you can reschedule it here very easily. Then we also have the inbox available. So the inbox is uh, to collaborate with our team, to chat with our team really easily. So what happens here is I can actually go to the inbox and I can add different comments anytime I want. Uh, so for that, we can also go to the pro version of Todoist. Todoist has a free version and a uh, paid version. So it's actually very easy to use with the free version. You're getting all of these different options and you will be able to create different uh, projects. When it comes to the projects, you will be able to add different tasks. You will be able to add different uh, sections into it. And once you're done, it will look like this. You can see this is one of my uh, work boards that I have. And I also have different team members added here. Let me actually show you the pricing plan for Todoist so you have a better idea about the affordability of the platform. The pricing plan is pretty simple on Todoist and not that expensive. We have a free plan for $0 per month and we can get started with this one. We will get five projects. We have a pro which is just $4 per month if built annually. And then we have a business for teams which is $6 per month if built annually. So you can get started with any of these plans and you will be able to create your own project on Todoist and run a successful business online. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.